Okay, here we are for another episode of uh, Scooter Tips with uh, Peter Servizio. And uh, we have a Vespa S150. We're going to be changing the tires on, the rear tire and the front tire. And we picked out the appropriate size tire from our tire rack over there. And uh, Pete, what goes into taking off a rear tire? What, uh, what needs to be done? Uh, to do a rear tire, we have to remove the exhaust. And uh, on this model, we just have uh, the exhaust and then a nut and cotter pin. And that's it. On the bigger bikes, we have a swing arm as well that needs to be Okay, so to speed up the process, we've already loosened some things up here. So you're going to show uh, where you take the exhaust off and how you do that. Yep. Okay. So there's uh, two 10 millimeter nuts um, up over here. Um, they're copper, so it's something you want to be careful with when you remove those. And then you have two six millimeter Allens over here. Okay, and the exhaust you yep. put aside. So then you have a cotter pin over here that we remove. And then the lug nut. The nut, and then the wheel. And then the wheel. Now sometimes that wheel gets stuck, depending on uh, rust or dirt or anything like that, so you gotta give it a, a couple of taps to get it off, right? Yep. And sometimes more than a couple of taps. You just keep spinning the tire and tapping it. Okay, and then everything comes off. And now what are we looking at in there once to, the wheel is off? Once when you get the wheel off, it's uh, the best time to inspect your brakes. Uh, so you just want to make sure you have enough uh, pad left on there. So that's a rear drum brake. Yep, so that looks great. Okay. And then with the tire, we have the rim, right? Yep, rim. We get the tire on here. And you're going to replace this it? the one we'll be replacing it with. We'll okay. take off the front. And to do the front tire at the same time, you, you, you want the up. jack, right? You need a jack up the front of the bike. Now the front tire looks a little bit easier. Yeah, nothing in the way, single sided swing arm. So there's only six or five. Now obviously the air tool makes it a lot easier, but you can, can do this by hand, right? Yeah. That's it for the front. Oh, that's great. And then the front you can see your disc brakes and your rotor. Okay, so now he takes all that over to the tire changing and we'll be back to show what it looks like in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are over at the uh, tire removal and reinstallation section, and we have another uh, guest there. There's Mike and Peter. All right, Mike, go ahead. Show us what's going on here. So we use the bead breaker, slide it up with the rim, break the bead. So the bead breaker breaks breaks the seal basically yep. around the tire. That's correct. Yep. Do it on both sides. Yep. And then now the tire is loose and it pops right off the rim. They have another tool here that holds the rim down. So obviously uh, you could do this at home. The best thing to do would be to take the tires off and then go to a tire changing center or your scooter shop and let them replace the tires for you, right? Yeah. Onto the rims. So there it is. He's got the tire off, and Mike is breaking the seal on the rear tire. And we will be back. 
Okay, we got both tires off. So now uh, we're going to put the t new tire on. And before he does anything, Pete puts a seal. What is that, like glue? Yeah, it's a little sealer and lubricator. Sealer, lubricator on the tire on both sides that is going to come in contact with the rim. Want to make sure we have it spinning in the correct direction. Um, there's an arrow right here, so it's something we always want to make sure. And you use the special tool there to get it on there, and, and a lot of uh, elbow grease, I see. Now you're ready for some, some air, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, and we'll show the tires going back onto the uh, bike. Okay, so we have both tires now on the rims. They've been painted with the adhesive. And what are we doing now, Pete? Uh, we're gonna seat the bead. The tire isn't locked in yet. Okay. So we're gonna put some air in it. It's gonna pop into the spot, and uh, the air will come out. We'll put the valve stem, and it'll be done. Okay. There's your pop. Isn't that exciting? People watching? How exciting. And now he's getting uh, new valve stems, he's putting them in. So we'll put extra air in here to keep some pressure on the bead for a little while. And again, the, the uh, tire pressure is on the inside of the uh, glove box or in the owner's manual, right? For recommended yep. air pressure. And also on the side of the tires. All right, and you're checking for leaks now to see if the seal's complete, or are you just letting it yeah, adhesive let it sit set? for a little, let it set, get some bubbling. Okay. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we're getting ready to put the tires back on, and Pete uh, has some anti-seize lubricant that he's going to paint on the, um, on the nuts that hold the tire in. And uh, why would you use this, Pete? Uh, it's so that um, when we go to take this back off, we don't have any problems. It stops it from rusting or uh, stripping out. So this is good for people who like keep their bike outside and uh, and you know if they leave it outside during the ride, nighttime and yeah, stuff like that. Ride throughout all seasons. Yeah. So he's going to do that to each one of the nuts. Now, will you do that on the back tire as well? Yeah. Okay. All right, and we will show we'll be back and we'll show the back tire going on as well. The front tire is pretty easy. He puts these five nuts back in and that's pretty much it, right? Yep. Okay, okay we're getting ready to put the rear tire on and you're going to spray it with what? Some brake clean just to get off the old dust and the lubricant that I sprayed on there to get the rim off. Okay. So it's okay to get this on anything, it's no problem. We'll do it on the inside of the rim here as well. Uh, that's yep. slows it down and get that all out of there. This stuff dries pretty fast. Wipe it all down. Alright. Put some anti-seize on here. Yep. And then the nut. We want to make sure this goes on the right way. 
One side's flat, one side's curved. Great. And we'll be back after everything's put back together. Okay, we got the wheel on, we have the nut, and now he's going to put uh, the retainer back on. And the cotter pin. I've always use a new cotter pin. That holds the assembly together. Just bend the tabs. One each way. Then the exhaust goes back on. And uh, again, there's four connectors for the exhaust. The two copper ones in the front and the uh, two bolts in the back. All right, looking good. Needless to say, you want to do this when the exhaust is cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so there's two bolts. One's a little longer than the other one. Okay. Longer one goes on top. Longer one goes on top. Once when you get it screwed in a little, it's nice because now I can let it go. The other one goes on the bottom. And then he has these two copper nuts that hold the uh, retainer in there. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Don't know if you can see that or not. And once he gets those on, he's going to tighten everything up and the scooter's good to go. We'll be back after everything's put together. All right, we have the tires back on, we have the exhaust back on, and the last thing we need to do is check air pressure, right? Yep. If it's high, you let some out. If it's low, you put some in. Put our valve caps on. And then uh, we're going to start up the bike to just double check and make sure there's no exhaust leaks. Anytime you take off the exhaust, it's a good thing to, uh, good thing to double check. Looks like we're good to go with the brand new Michelin Pilot tires on this bike. Thank you Pete for another wonderful demonstration. Peter Servizio, Chief Mechanic here at Scooter Centrale Vespa Hartford. Find him online at VespaHartford.com and they can make service appointments uh, through the website. Right Pete? Yep. Okay, we'll see you in the next episode. We don't know what we're shooting yet, but it's sure going to be exciting. Mm -hmm.